Hello, today's devotional can be found in 2 Chronicles, chapter 34, verse 31. And the king stood in his place and made a covenant before the Lord to walk, to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes with all his heart and with all his soul to perform the words of the covenant which are written in this book. Okay. Anyone who has faith and desires to, be, to do better for themselves and anyone who wants to do better and to forsake mistakes of the past can make covenants of the first level. And as their faith and knowledge grows, as their desire grows, and their worthiness grows, they can make covenants at various levels. Basically, covenants are promises with God. Two-way promises, if, if we agree to do things, God will agree to bless us in certain ways. And we basically covenant with God to walk after Him and to keep His commandments and to take the name of Christ upon ourselves. And we covenant that we will always keep a testimony of God in Christ and, and do all that He's asked us to do and just give our hearts that our passion may be in doing the will of the Lord, that we might be able to expand our agency by obeying and doing good, not only for ourselves, but for others in the world. And this is something that we need to invest our whole soul in, as well as our heart. Because sincerity comes from the heart and soul. And if we walk after the Lord, if we truly desire to walk after the Lord, then we will keep His commandments. I mean, it may seem difficult to do, but it's not impossible. And to keep a testimony of God and Jesus Christ is not impossible either. Christ died for us. He died for the world, bringing it out of the darkness of ignorance that we imperfect mortals can look beyond the fact that we're imperfect and and do wonderful things and strive to reach the potential that Heavenly Father and Christ know we have that Christ died to be able to unlock. So covenants are very important. Let's treat them as such. Let's put our our, all our heart and soul into maintaining them and growing through them. Because if we don't, it's better if we never made them. If we do, we shall be blessed beyond all measure. Covenants are sacred and important. The Lord covenanted to look after us. And the atonement is sort of a covenant to pull us out of our spiritual darkness if we want to be rescued. So why can't we covenant to accept the help and, and work to become the children of God that we can become? Why not? And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say this humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.